If you ever suffered any renal damage and want to know how to repair your kidneys, this video is gonna be super interesting for you. Do you know that the kidney is the organ in the body with the greatest ability to repair itself? If you want to harness the full repairing power of your kidneys, there are three things you absolutely need to know. Hello, how are your kidneys doing? This is Catherine, welcome to Double O Kidney. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Some of the things I'm going to talk about today are vital if you want to dramatically speed up the recovery process of your kidneys. The human kidney has developed a specific characteristic due to its role in the urinary tract. The renal system has to fight off toxins all day long and it is in direct contact with poisons that can do a lot of damage. This is why the kidney has developed the peculiar ability of being able to constantly rejuvenate itself. It continues to generate specialized cells all the time. Unlike most other organs, the kidney constantly grows and remodels itself, even in adults. This is what researchers from the Stanford University found out in a recent study. Best part is that we can use this peculiarity to our advantage. How? Following these three easy steps I'm going to show you now and with the use of some of the most advanced technology today available. Step 1. Understanding and getting rid of the causes of kidney damage. When kidney disease is in its early stages, it can silently lurk in the body without any symptom. But the kidneys are vital organs and when they fail, the hands and feet of the sufferers will start to puff up and there will be nausea, itches and aches. In most cases, kidney damage are caused by pre-existing health conditions that have done damage to the kidneys little by little over time. The most common are diabetes, high blood pressure and urinary tract problems. Treating these problems as soon as they arise is the best strategy to repair kidney damage. But there are other hidden dangers that a lot of patients don't know about. There are some very common drugs, medicine and pills that can cause kidney damage. What people don't know is that kidney problems are one of the most frequent side effects of these drugs. I'm not trying to scare you here, but I want you to be very careful with what you're taking. First of all, there are antibiotics. They can be really dangerous if not taken correctly. The kidneys have to filter substances present in antibiotics, and some of these are known to cause damage to certain kidney cells. This is why chronic kidney disease patients are usually prescribed lower doses of antibiotics and for less time. Other antibiotics can make crystals that can even block the urine flow. Rule of thumb is to never take any antibiotics not prescribed by your doctor. They are more dangerous than people like to think. Proton pump inhibitor can be dangerous too. They are used to treat acid reflux and heartburn. Drugs like Prilosec, Asfix, Nexium and others have been shown to raise the risk for kidney disease if taken for extended periods of time. If you take them regularly, ask your doctor if you can switch to H2 blockers like Zantac or Pepsid, as they are less likely to damage the kidneys. Diuretics are another class of drugs that can have a bad impact on the health of your kidneys. They are used to treat swelling and high blood pressure. Since these conditions are associated with kidney disease, diuretics or water pills are often prescribed to kidney patients. Unfortunately, they can cause dehydration, which is very bad for the health of the kidneys. Some supplements like creatine and wormwood oil are dangerous too, especially if your kidneys are not working at 100%. 
But the most dangerous over-the-counter medications are NSAIDs like ibuprofen, nafraxen, aspirin, and other painkillers. They are proven to cause up to 5% of chronic kidney disease new cases every year. They should never be taken to manage chronic pain and should never be taken daily or for long amounts of time. Talk to your healthcare provider if you are taking them. Step 2. Take care of your mental wellness. A lot of people suffer from CKD and ESRD and the medical establishment can or doesn't want to tackle this epidemic. They give people palliative cares to alleviate the symptoms and to make them go on and buy the next box of pills or to pay for the next expensive and invasive treatment. People feel let down and alone. It's like the system wants you to be broke and ill. I know this sounds scary, especially if you have been recently diagnosed with a disease you didn't thought you could ever had. I see people in this condition almost every day. No matter what the illness is, people are scared. And I can tell you that it is absolutely normal to be scared. So, what should you do when you're scared? The thing you need to know in order to be able to repair your kidneys is that you should never lose hope. You should never give up and stop fighting even if things are scary. Some of the people I see are able to fight while others unfortunately are not. In my opinion, this is the biggest difference between those able to repair their kidneys and those who can't. Number three. The cure may be behind the corner. Every day, there are new revolutionary treatments being tested. New drugs are giving incredible results and illness that we thought were not treatable are now cured. It never fails to amaze me how fast science is taking care of some of the worst illness. They're trying to find a cure for cancer as we speak. There's a good chance that we'll be able to see it in our lifetime, since various types of cancer are already considered curable. HIV and AIDS are being cured too. An HIV vaccine may be on the horizon and researchers and scientists believe that we can find a cure for AIDS during the next decade. While there is still not a cure for chronic kidney disease, some of the new treatments that are being tested are really promising. Stem cells-based therapy is one of the most interesting. Stem cell technology aim is to develop lab-grown tissues to help the kidney regenerating itself. These tissues will be lab-grown from specific cells taken from the kidneys and will then be injected in the organ. There is another kind of stem cell based therapy being developed. Its aim is to grow a full organ outside the human body. This technique is called therapeutic cloning and will one day be able to give us organs and kidneys ready for a transplant without the need for a donor. Stem cell based therapies are really effective and are already successfully used to treat some diseases like diabetes, heart disease and leukemia. A huge amount of money and resources are being invested and it could only be a matter of time before some researcher will find a way to cure kidney disease with stem cells. Another very promising new research is being made on an artificial implantable kidney. The goal of the project is to create an implantable artificial organ to replace the human kidney. It will be able to work without requiring an invasive procedure and it will do so for an indefinite amount of time since it will only be powered by the human body. This device is expected to give chronic kidney disease patients a new option beyond a kidney transplant and the short-term solution of kidney dialysis. The implantable bioartificial kidney is almost ready for human trials and it's a recent news that the kidney project team from the University of California has gained some private funding that will be used to finance the human trials. 
The future never looks so bright for kidney patients. This is all for today. If you like this video, please like and leave a comment. And don't forget to tap the notification bell. Thank you for watching.